Lembo Strait, on the northern tip of Sulawesi. This region has been a center for the evolution of marine life. Its scattered reefs and sandy seabed are a kaleidoscope of improbable shapes and colors. Here, hunters and hunted run an evolutionary arms race, developing ever more unlikely ways of warning and deceiving. Deceit starts with simple camouflage. Panther flounders are easy enough to see when they're swimming. But what about the one that didn't move? The flounder is a master at disguise. It can change both the color and texture of its skin in an instant. Some animals disguise themselves as another species. This looks like a sponge, but in fact, it's a predatory frogfish. And this could be its prey, a pipefish. But a pipefish looks like part of a feather star. So long as it stays within its waving arms, it's almost invisible. Pipefish are related to seahorses, and like them, it's the males that carry the eggs in a special brood pouch. A trumpet fish hides in the fronds of a sea fan. But what it may not see is the pygmy seahorse that lives there too. These tiny fish are no longer than a fingernail. They mimic every detail of their background. Rather than just looking like another species, some animals enlist other creatures' defenses for their own protection. The Coleman's shrimp lives safe among the venomous spines of a sea urchin. With its hard outer shell, there's no risk of it being stung. To survive in the stinging tentacles of anemones, these clownfish have to take extra precautions. They steal a chemical from the anemone and rub it onto their skin so it doesn't recognize them as prey. They can live safely in what would be lethal surroundings for other fish. In most tropical seas, clownfish have anemones to themselves, but here in Indonesia, all sorts of other fish are developing the same immunity. Cardinal fish, for instance. And hawkfish. It's beginning to get crowded. This is evolution in progress. From here, the habit could spread right across the ocean. <laughs> 